Hey everyone, thanks so much for tuning in. I want to share with you guys the spinner that I've been carrying a lot lately. This is the Infinite Spin Neutron, and it's, I guess, their newest model. So we'll go through the specs here, um, show you guys some of the details on this one, and then at the end, I'm going to try to get a max spin out of it. I'm going to time it so that you guys can see, you know, if you're interested in max spin times and so forth. So anyhow, it does ship with a uh, branded tin here. They do have a new logo where they've started putting their logo on things at this point. So that's what the tin looks like. And they've incorporated the logo on the body of the spinner as well. So let's bring in a uh, stainless steel torque bar for a size comparison. So the uh, diameter at the widest portion is just about 1.9 inches. The thickness, including the finger pads, is 0 0.52 inches. It does weigh in at 1.53 ounces, um, which is fairly light for a spinner this size, and that's because they've made it out of an aluminum body. Um, they put in some polished uh, stainless steel weights here on the ends, and then they coated the aluminum body with a black hard anodized finish. So it gives it a pretty nice um, discreet look here, and then when you're spinning the stainless steel against the black, um, pretty cool effect. So rather geometric in shape, if you're doing a one finger spin, all these points of contact actually make it quite a bit easier. I do a middle finger spin and so I find myself using these wider um, cutouts here on the sides really. And it's pretty comfortable. So the bearings are R188 and this one is actually pretty quiet when spinning. If you're about two feet away you can't hear it at all. So pretty cool overall. Alright, let's take a look at it up close. So again, some of the cutouts, the geometric pattern, the polished uh, stainless steel weights inserted into the body there. Here is the finger pads. Nice deep pads. You don't really, um, well, you don't slip on it. It's pretty comfortable. You don't have to like crank down to hold on it like you do on the torque bar that I just showed you. The wobble is actually quite minimal. And in the few weeks that I've had this one, I haven't had to adjust or lock tight the finger pads. Um, usually after about 10 to 15 minutes, I'm having to um, lock tight the finger pads so they're not unscrewing while I'm spinning it. So, yeah. Okay, so again, pretty discreet in the black. I mean, if you're across the room, you know, someone sees you, they may not even notice it's moving. Um, but overall, a good one to actually carry in your pocket um, with you daily if you want to mess with it while, again, you know, you're on the bus, you're in class, whatever it is that you're doing. All right, let's try to do a max spin time here to um, end this video. Hopefully, I can get a good spin the first time. Um, and then I've got my phone with the timer, so let's see what happens. And I'm just going to let it run till it stops. So hang out and see if you want.
All right, so this one's about a minute 48 seconds. My best one's been about three minutes so far, and they advertise between two and four minutes. So anyways, that is a look at the Neutron by Infinite Spin. Um, there is a discount code, which I will put down in the description box below, along with the link to where you can pick this one up. So yeah, thanks for watching. Take care.